We're just starting to get some blooms on the plants and a couple of days ago, Farmer Fred and I took and put these supports in for the cucumbers. The cucumbers are going, will actually climb up the supports and at a later point in the summer, we'll come back out here and I'll show you what it looks like when the supports have been filled with the cucumber vines and the cucumbers will be actually on the back side of the supports hanging down and it makes it really easy for us to pick them. The other thing I like about it is that they aren't all over the ground so when you come out here and walk you're not stepping on the cucumber plants in order to find the cucumbers. I'm having Fred shoot down this or point the camera down this row of cucumbers. You can see they've grown up the trellis quite nicely, not quite to the top of the trellis yet, but getting very close. And they've covered the trellis and we're going to walk around the back and I'll show you some of the cucumbers that are hanging down through the trellis. Fred actually plant, picked about 10 cucumbers earlier today, so there may not be a lot back there, but let's take a look and see. So the cucumbers, when they set, they're heavy enough that a lot of times they will hang down through the holes in this trellis type. Actually, the, I wanted to also mention that the stakes for the trellis are set at about a 45 degree angle and that encourages the vines to climb the trellis without having to tie them to the trellis as well as the cucumbers to hang down through the openings in the trellis. This one will be ready to pick probably tomorrow. You can see there's some additional ones here, some small ones that have set that will turn into cucumbers. Here's another one down in here that still has a ways to go before it'll be ready to pick. But uh, lots of cucumbers, we're getting a lot of cucumbers from them, about six, eight cucumbers every day now off of these plants. I just wanted to show you a little close up, a little better close up where you can see all of the cucumbers that are hanging down here through the openings. There's one, two, and another one down here. In addition to that, you've got the little ones that are setting and here's some blossoms that are, this one's starting to set and some blossoms that are just forming right now. So lots of cucumbers in our future. So we're going to go ahead and pick one of the cucumbers and I've got a nice big cucumber down towards the bottom of this plant that we're going to cut. When you pick your cucumbers, you want to cut them off the vine rather than rip them off the vine. Ripping them off the vine can risk pulling them out of the ground or tearing your vines, which you don't want to do. So we always keep a few old knives out in our garden that we use to cut different things off the vines. So we have this cucumber here and and I'm going to just cut it right off the vine like that and we'll add it to our collection. I'm going to just do a quick look to see if there's any other cucumbers in the area. I'm not seeing any other cucumbers. Here we are on the back side of this trellis that we just saw from the front side and you can see the vines go up through the trellis and you can see there's a lot of blossoms on the backside here, as well as a bunch of, I'm gonna tuck this in over here, as well as a bunch of little cucumbers that have set. Some of them still have their blossoms on them. Some of them have, are a little bit bigger. And we have one down here that's not quite ready to pick. If you wanted to pick, if you had a lot of cucumbers, and wanted to pick it, you could pick it, but I like to let it wait till it gets a little bit older. And you can see down in over there, right, let's get this vine out of the way. In here is one that's starting to get a little yellow on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually reach in and cut it off of the vine because it's not going to get a whole lot bigger. Once the end starts to taper like this and turn a little bit yellow, your cucumber will just get fatter but not longer. And this cucumber is ready to pick even though it's a little cucumber. 
What Farmer Fred and I do is to train the vines to grow up this trellis is we'll come out here every couple of days and we will tuck the vines in through the different supports like this so that it tent so that they climb up the trellis rather than coming out through the trellis and laying on the ground. I thought I would find a shady place here to talk to you a little bit about cucumbers out of the heat of the garden and found this nice spot in my backyard to tell you a little bit about cucumbers. Cucumbers are one of those vegetables that are picked and eaten when they're green. If you wait until they're yellow, that usually means that they're overripe. This cucumber's got a little bit of yellow on the end where the end is ripening. And if you wait until they're all yellow, they will be bitter. So you want to pick them when they're green and eat them and enjoy them when they're green. In addition to that, you'll see sometimes they may have a little yellow spot or a little yellow stripe on them where they've begun to ripen. This cucumber is still delicious. You may find it that area with the yellow stripe is just a little bit softer, but it's still edible. This one here is a little older, more mature cucumber. And in addition to the little yellow area, it has some little bug damage on the skin where a bug thought it was delicious and decided it would try to taste it. Fortunately though, it wasn't able to get much deeper than just the skin. What are some ways that you can use your cucumbers? You can use them fresh in a salad. I also like to slice them and put them in a drink. You can cut them up or slice them up and make an ice cube of them, put that in a frozen drink, or just enjoy them. A cucumber about this size only has 45 calories. It's almost 90% water and it's a great way to hydrate in the summertime. In addition to the water, it has nutrients and electrolytes. So a great way to hydrate after you've been outside in the garden, working hard, sweating, and picking cucumbers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, subscribe, and sign up for notifications so I can continue to bring you more of these videos as well as recipes and other great information. It also helps my analytics and helps me reach a personal goal of mine, which is to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. For more information about cucumbers, how to grow them, how to enjoy them, and some recipes for them, go to my website at growwithdrjonette.com. Mm -hmm.